Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we got a face cam and a new mic. Yeah, I told you guys I'd do it in the last video, and even though I don't have anything behind me because I just moved into this house, I decided, f*** it. Honestly, comment what I should put back here. I was thinking of either one of two things. Either number one, a giant fat head, and when I say giant, I mean absolutely just colossal fat head of Leonardo DiCaprio's or number two, and really think about this one because I did come up with this one myself, just the words, kill your grandma. You know, maybe the words are like arched, maybe they have like sparkles or glitter or something like that, you know what I mean? Honestly, I think those two things sum up my channel more than anything I could possibly put behind me. Actually, this sort of brings us to the topic of this video in that I hate old people. I tried to kill one the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try and kill her, okay? I just accidentally almost ran this 90-year-old woman over. But it wasn't my fault, okay? It was Tom Cruise's fault. Please let me explain. It'll make sense, I promise. So to understand why I almost ran this sweet, sweet loving 90-year-old woman over with the front end of my car, we have to understand a couple of things about me. Number one, I am a horrible driver. Listen, it's not because I'm an actual bad driver. Like, I'm not an actual bad driver like a woman, you know what I mean? For those of you that are offended by that joke, it should be noted that my girlfriend was the one who actually wrote that joke for me. So now you don't know what to do, do ya? I'm just kidding, I'm gay. Anyway, so the actual problem I have when it comes to driving is that every time I drive, for some reason, I'm always on heroin. Okay, not actual heroin. It's just for some reason, whenever I drive, I completely zone out and I turn into goddamn Beetlejuice. I seriously cannot count the amount of times I've missed my exit or passed by somewhere that I was supposed to go. It's honestly ridiculous. For example, yesterday, I was driving over to my grandma's house and my grandma's house is like 10 blocks away from my house max And you know me and my grandma both live in a nice neighborhood. We live in Burbank I mean the only real problem with Burbank is that it's overrun with white people But anyways, right I start driving over to her house and I completely zone out and I zoned out for such a long time That when I finally came back to reality I looked outside of my window and I saw a homeless man taking a shit in the middle of of the road. Like this homeless man was holding up traffic to take this shit. And when I saw this homeless man drop his pants to take a shit in the middle of the road, I quickly realized that I was no longer in Burbank. You see, I had zoned out so bad that I didn't pass my grandma's house by like a block or two. You see, I passed my grandma's house by a fucking city. I zoned out so hard that I went from seeing white people barbecuing outside of their house playing football to a goddamn homeless man taking a shit in the middle of the road. Do you know what it's like seeing an actual human being stopping traffic to take a shit in the middle of the road? Do you know how bad of a neighborhood I had to be in to watch a homeless man take a shit in the middle of the road? I literally passed by my grandma's house by like 10 miles. That's how much I zoned out. Anyway, so back to almost killing this old lady because of Tom Cruise. So the past week, me and my girlfriend have been watching every single Mission Impossible movie. I mean, we watched from the very first one all the way to Fallout. And let me tell you something. If you haven't seen those Mission Impossible movies, I don't care what you're about to do or what plans you have. Cancel them and watch these movies. I don't care if you're about to get married to the love of your life. Go right up to your wife and say, Babe, I can't do this. Some 19-year-old on the internet told me that I have to cancel getting married to you so that I can watch Tom Cruise Mission Impossible movies. I'm sorry, babe, but we're done. Listen to me, okay? Your slut wife can wait. Tom Cruise can't. Anyway, so now that I've ruined your marriage, me and my girlfriend had just finished watching all of the Mission Impossible movies. And let me tell you something, okay? Yes, the movies are great, but the fucking theme song, the Mission Impossible theme song makes my day dick hard. Like, sometimes I wonder if I would have the strength to, like, kill another human being. Like, if I actually would have the strength to get a gun pointed at someone and pull the trigger and just watch as the life fades away from their body. And honestly, I don't know if I would have the strength required to actually kill another human being. But then this Mission Impossible theme song comes on and I know I could kill my entire family. I know I could grab an MG42 and just start going to fucking town. Just fucking... 
Ah! When I listen to this theme song, I become Tom Cruise. So now that we know that I take heroin before I drive and that this theme song makes me turn into Tom Cruise, I am now ready to tell this story. Anyways, so yesterday I'm driving to the store to go pick up some drinks and like any time I drive, I eventually zoned out. And for some reason, I wasn't actually driving on a main street and I was actually driving on a street with like a lot of stop signs and a lot of people crossing the street. And as I'm completely zoned out, all of a sudden, the Mission Impossible theme song starts playing in my head and because I was completely zoned out and I wasn't functioning properly as this song was playing in my head I became Tom Cruise when this song started playing in my head I immediately shrunk five inches and also grew five inches in other places and so without even realizing what I was actually doing I fucking floored it and I floored it so hard that I was going 60 miles an hour and listen that might not seem like a lot to you but keep in mind I was on a street with a lot of stop signs like a stop sign every four block and so I had to go from zero to 60 in a two block span and as I'm flooring it going 60 miles per hour I looked up and I saw this old grandma crossing the street with like a walker and you guys know those random thoughts you get in your head when you're like driving or something like you'll just be looking at someone when you're driving and you'll be like huh what would happen if I just like ran that person over like how crazy would that be. Like, you never actually do it, but, like, the thought crosses your mind. You know what I mean? It is very possible that I am psychotic, and this only applies to me. Anyway, so I get this thought in my head, like, what would happen if I just ran this grandma over? Like, I'm just gonna do it and see what happens. And I was so zoned out that for a millisecond, I didn't even question it. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna run this grandma over. Calm down, please. I'm not a serial killer. It was just in my head for a millisecond, okay? It's perfectly healthy to think about murdering random strangers, okay? And so after a millisecond of me thinking that I was gonna run this woman over, I realized, oh shit, I can't do this. I can't run this 90-year-old woman over. And so I realized that I had to stop the car. But you see, instead of just breaking the car like a normal human being would, I wasn't a normal human being. In that moment, I was Tom fucking cruise. And so because I was so zoned out and because the Mission Impossible theme song was playing in my head, I decided that instead of just breaking this car, I was gonna drift it. And I legitimately thought that this was a good idea. This was my mission and I chose to accept it. Have I ever drifted a car before then? No, but I do it in GTA all the time. How hard could it be? Turns out, very hard. But with the face of Michael Jordan in game seven and zero hesitation, I pulled the e-brake, started to turn left, realized that I didn't have Tom Cruise's cock and I still had my small penis, immediately straightened the car back up and just started to break the car like the white pussy ass bitch I am. So yeah, I didn't end up drifting, but it was probably a good idea because even if I managed to drift, I probably would have drifted through this old woman and not around her. And honestly, I wasn't even that close to this grandma like, I had quite a lot of room before I was actually gonna hit her. Like, I had such a big amount of room that this grandma didn't even know that she almost ended up in seven different places. She just crossed the street and gave me one of those fucking old lady waves. And listen, I am such a messed up person in the head that after going 60 miles per hour through a school zone, trying to drift my SUV, and almost sending this grandma to Mars, I still rolled down my window and said, What are you doing? You could have hit me, grandma. Get out of the street, you old hag! Okay, to be fair, she was walking like a sloth, and why is a 90-year-old woman crossing the street alone? Like, isn't there a certain age where we should be able to take your walking rights away? Like, do you really need to be walking at the age of 90? Either die or sit in a chair and watch daytime television. You don't need to walk. Like, listen, a homeless man taking a shit in the middle of the road is one thing, but I will not stand for 90-year-olds to be given the right to walk. Anyway, speaking of grandmas and what rights they should or should not have, I believe mine shouldn't have the right to speak. Listen, I joke around about a lot of things on this channel, but this is not one of them. My grandma is clinically insane. She is a psychopath. And when you hear that, you may be like, oh, bro, does she have Alzheimer's?
just like, I'm so sorry to hear that, bro. That must suck so bad. No, she's fully functional and that's what makes it worse. I have a great story to sum up how crazy this woman is. So I got a little carried away in a video I made a while back and basically said that we should exterminate all white people, myself included. Listen, okay, I had just come back from a vacation with my girlfriend where she forced me to go into white people stores like pottery and antique shops and I had to sit there and watch these white people pay $700 for a bowl that looked like a child from Africa just finished using to carry water back to his hut. So let's just say I was pretty amped up for this video and I was going in pretty hard. At one point, I may or may not have said that we should go around and kill innocent white children. But anyways, okay, somehow my grandma finds my YouTube channel and watches this video. Listen, just the mere fact that I probably came up on her recommended already tells you that this woman is fucking insane. I mean, let's be honest here. If I come up on your recommended, you are probably clinically insane. But anyways, my grandma watches this video. She literally sits through me screaming and ranting about about why we should gather up all of the white people that like to go in these pottery and antique shops and drop an atomic bomb on them. If I watched this video as a parent, I would be concerned for my child. I would probably put them in a mental institution. But my grandma ends up watching the whole video through and after she watches this video, she texts me and she's like, Hey, uh, I watched your video. And when I got this text, I was like, Oh God, I'm gonna be put in a mental institution. I mean, I expected her to sit there and lecture me for hours about why I can't talk like that and why this is not okay and why this would offend virtually almost every single person on the entire planet. But no, this woman is so far gone, so clinically insane, so detached from reality that after watching this video where even I admit that I went a little too far, she texted me and said, hey, I saw your video. It's really crazy to me how you can just sit there and record your video game technology has come so far what she just watched me for 15 minutes say that we should drop an atomic bomb and her response was technology has come so far hasn't it even I felt like I went too far with this video I mean what she did is basically like going to Auschwitz looking around and seeing all the torture and gruesome conditions and then going up to Hitler and saying hey man what kind of gas are you using it's very a technologically advanced. Like, yes, technology has come very far. It's honestly fascinating. But you see, uh, you kind of glossed over the fact where I said, uh, I wanted to drop an atomic bomb on innocent people. Okay, to be honest, they aren't innocent people. If you're going to spend $700 on a bowl, you deserve to die. Anyways, moral of the story is, be Tom Cruise. Run over your grandma. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.